Hey guys, welcome back to Cardboard Showcase. This is Mike. Uh, so today's video is a mail day. Haven't done one in probably a little over a month, maybe a month and a half. Uh, so I picked up quite a few cards in that time. So I wanted to uh, share those recent pickups with you and uh, get you guys thoughts. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just start with the raw cards that we picked up and uh, share these with you. Um, now, if you guys have watched uh, any of my other previous videos, you know that I'm a big fan of the uh, Topps Living Set. Um, so I try to pick up as many of these as, as possible. Sometimes they, I don't pick them all up. Um, there are some players that just aren't, you know, I don't think worth the four or five bucks to pick up. But I do pick up most of the Hall of Famers, most of the rookies, any of the current stars. Um, so here are all Tops Living that have come out over the last uh, little while. And uh, so I've got the Hornus Wagner, Plesak, uh, Graver, uh, Garrett Cole, Will Smith rookie, Molina, Freed, Bregman, uh, Chapman, Zimmerman, Ty Cobb, great looking one there, James, uh, Sean Doolittle, Kopech rookie, uh, Thurman Munson, Duplantier, Soroka, Tommy Pham, uh, Gary Carter, great looking card there in the old Expos uniform, uh, Keller, Chapman, Roy Halladay, great one there in the, in the Blue Jays, and Mitch Keller. Uh, so these are the majority of the recent uh, Tops Living that have come out over the last uh, month, month and a half, since last time I did a, a Mail Day video. So uh, a few more pickups uh, recently, well, not too recently, but Tops Gallery came out. So I, I didn't buy any boxes of Gallery, but I did pick up the cards that I was looking for off eBay. Uh, so just basically got the rookies, uh, some of the bigger stars. So I got the Eloy Jimenez, Tops Gallery rookie. Um, Pete Alonzo. Uh, this is the Topps Gallery Heritage Edition. So this is the Fernando Tatis. Uh, two, this came in a lot, both these cards together. Two of the, just the base Topps Gallery Tatis rookies. Uh, got the Guerrero Heritage Topps Gallery. And then his uh, just regular base Topps Gallery. So Gallery is a good looking set. I usually don't buy it too much, but I do like to pick up the cards, you know, particular cards. Um, this is another lot that I picked up. Uh, you know, Nationals, fresh off that World Series. Rendon, um, great player. So, and uh, just wanted to pick up. I didn't have any of his rookie cards, so this lot was available on eBay. So I picked it up. So I got three of his uh, rookie updates, or excuse me, rookie debut. And these are all out of uh, 2013 Tops Update. So there's three of the rookie debuts. I think there's five of the uh, base rookie card. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one of the tops chrome. So all great looking cards, you know, wonderful player. Uh, I think those cards only have, only can go up. Uh, picked up a couple uh, Keston rookies. So these are the uh, 84 uh, throwbacks out of tops. Uh, so this one's out of the silver packs. You can see that, uh, you know, shine on that one. Great rookie card there. And then this one is just uh, just the base 84 uh, throwback out of 2019 tops. Um, yeah, a couple casting rookies. Another uh, product that came out during the holidays was, of course, uh, Tops Holiday. Um, so I picked up, once again, just the key rookies. Uh, so I got a couple here. These are the metallics. Uh, so you can see uh, there's actually that uh, metallic flaking on the kind of the snowflake around the edge. So I got two of those. Pete Alonzo. I uh, got the Tatis, uh, one metallic. This one here, you can see the metallic flake and then just a, a base, so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, if you get it, the right light on it, there's a little bit of shine on the metallic ones where the, the base is, is just the print. Uh, so I got the metallic and the, and the base of Tatis. And then uh, Vlad Guerrero, got uh, one metallic and then two base. So and those were all in a lot as well. Uh, so glad to pick that up. Uh, this card, uh, first look, just looks like the normal base 2019 tops of Acuna. But this is, if you notice up here, the older logo, the older tops logo. If you look at the other cards from that year, it's got the you know tops written out, but the older one's got that nice swoop on the T. So this is the vintage stock. So this one is numbered out of 99. So number 86 out of 99. 
Um, I'm trying to build, I guess, a little bit of a rainbow of this card. Uh, it's just a great looking card. It's number one in uh, this year's Series 1. Cunha's great. He's got the nice rookie cup. And so I have, of course, the base in a PSA 10. I've got the rainbow. Um, I've got the black out of 67. The pink and the blue, both out of 50. All in PSA 10s. I've got a gold that I'll be uh, submitting here. Uh, I think it's actually out of PSA right now. Now I've got this vintage stock. Uh, out of 99. So it's just a couple more of the variations that I'm looking to get. Uh, the Advanced Stat, I think that's out of 150. Independence Day out of 76. Camo out of 25. But they're just, uh, you don't see them pop up that often. Uh, but I'm trying to build them all. So I did get this uh, nice uh, vintage stock one. So I'll send that off to PSA. Uh, a couple variations of the key rookies this year. So these all come out of the uh, Complete set, so you'll notice here on the back under all of them, it does say complete set. So this is just the image variation that you get out of the complete set, so tops 2019. So you got the Tatis, the Vlad Guerrero, and uh, the Pete Alonso. Uh, now moving on to tops update, uh, picked up some variations there. So this is the Luis Reyes, the uh, rainbow foil. So great looking card there, gorgeous shine. Also got his gold. So these are all numbered out of 2019. So that's 1026 out of 2019. Got the Austin Riley gold, uh, 132 out of 2019. Carter Keyboom gold, 912 out of 2019. Kevin Biggio, 1699 out of 2019. And then uh, Chris Paddock, uh, 1500 out of 2019. So love the golds. And, uh, you know, so always try and get as many of those nice key rookies in gold as I can. Uh, a few more gold that are not 2019. Picked up this Kettle Marte gold rookie. So this is from 2016, I believe. Yep, 2016, Series 1. So this one's numbered out of uh, 2016. So 1062 out of 2016. Uh, had a great year. Great young player. You know, excited to see what he can uh, continue to do. So picked up his gold rookie. Uh, picked up two of these uh, Raphael Devers, which is a great card, great young player. I really like this card from 2018. I really like how the gold, uh, how Topps did the gold in 2019. And uh, this is a good looking card because it's got not only the rookie shield, but it's also got the rookie cup. Um, so good looking card. So picked up two of those. So we've got uh, 1035 and 1472 out of 2018. So... Nice. And then one of my uh, better pickups in gold that I've picked up recently is this one right here. So this is the Nolan Arenado rookie out of 2013 Tops Update. Uh, so this is out of 2013, 1555 out of 2013. Great looking card. I think this has a really good shot to gem. So I'll be sending this one off to PSA and and uh, hoping we get that, uh, get that 10 because this is a centered really well. Nice crisp corners. Surface looks great. Um, so really hoping that one gets a 10. Couple chrome refractor pickups. Uh, picked up the pink refractor here of Vlad Guerrero Jr. out of uh, Topps Update, or excuse me, Topps Chrome. And then I uh, got the uh, refractor, Pete Alonzo, and the refractor of Tati. So these are not numbered. These are the refractor though, so it does say refractor right up there underneath the number, but uh, they're not numbered, but just a good looking card, great shine. So wanted to get those. Uh, only have one Heritage Auto. Uh, it's this one. Uh, I got the Keston uh, Heritage Auto. This is the blue. Uh, could not get my hands on a red, or at least not for a price that I thought was uh, was worth it. Uh, but I was able to pick up this blue fairly cheap. I think it was like 80, 90 bucks. Um, so definitely wanted to get uh, get Keston's rookie for Heritage. So yeah, good looking card. I think this one's got a nice shot of gemming as well. And then a few basketball pickups. I'm not a huge basketball collector, but I do like to pick up the main rookies, especially silvers. Um, so these are um, Prism draft picks. So I got the uh, RJ Barrett uh, Prism Silver out of draft picks. Got the Zion Williamson out of draft picks, Silver Prism. And it does say Prism right there. You can see that gorgeous shine on there. Got the John Morant draft picks. Prism Silver, and then probably the best pickup uh, is this one right here. So this is the base Prism set, and this is the uh, John ja Morant rookie card uh, in the Grizzlies uniform. You see in this one he's still wearing his college uniform because this is draft picks. 
Uh, but this one, gorgeous card right here, really nicely centered. Um, so this is the silver prism rookie of John Morant. So I really think uh, I've noticed, and maybe you guys uh, can agree or leave a comment below, but uh, the prism this year has been crazy off-centered. Uh, so it was really hard to find a centered version at a good price. So this one looks pretty well centered to me. Um, so I'll be sending this one off to PSA for sure to see how it does. But uh, yeah, definitely I think right now front runner for Rookie of the Year right here, John Morant. Uh, so those are all the raw cards I've picked up lately. And uh, so here's some of the slabs I picked up. I actually got a couple more uh, yellow, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but here's some of the slabs that I've picked up recently, too. Um, now, I'm a big fan of Peyton Manning, by far my favorite football player of all time. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Peyton Manning has 43 rookie cards in 1998 that got the uh, RC designation, the rookie designation. He's got hundreds upon hundreds, maybe even a thousand cards that were produced of him in 1998, his rookie season. But only 43 of them got that RC rookie designation. Um, so I have all 43 of them, but I'm trying to upgrade. I'm trying to get them all in a Gym Mint or uh, in a PSA Gym Mint 10, a BGS 9.5, or even a SGC uh, 10. I've got a couple of those. And so uh, here I have all of these cards already in nines, but I'm trying to upgrade them. And I was able to get a few of these over the last month, month and a half to uh, upgrade. Um, so here's the first one. This is the 98 Playoff Absolute Peyton Manning. This is a die cut. You see that uh, corner right there is die cut. So this is a PSA Jim Mint 10. Gorgeous looking Peyton Manning rookie card. So like I said, I do have this in a 9. So I was trying to get all 43 rookies in a, in a 10 or a BGS 9.5 or SGC 10. Um, so yeah, really excited about that one. Another one here. This is another true rookie card of Peyton Manning, the 1998 Collector's Edge, first place. Once again, PSA 10. Now, there's a couple variations of this one. The true rookie is this one that just says Peyton Manning, Colts QB. Um, there's a couple that have this exact same image, but there's some different text here. Um, those are not the actual true rookie card. Um, the one that just says Peyton Manning, Colts QB is the true rookie card. Um, the other one is... a. Uh, I can't remember the text. One says AFC uh, passer rating or something of that nature, but it, the one that has this text is your is your true rookie if you if you are looking into that collector's edge. Uh, gorgeous looking one here, uh, the Metal Universe PSA 10, 1998, and this is a nice picture of Peyton Manning in his Tennessee Vols uniform. Look at the color on that back. Definitely a 90s card right there. But a gorgeous looking card. Once again, I had this in a nine, so I was looking to update it. And a nice Metal Universe logo. So one of my favorite of his rookie cards. This one right here, the uh, Upper Deck Black Diamond. And this is the single diamond. So you'll notice down here, let me see if I can get it. You've only got the one diamond. So now there is a two, a three, and a four diamond. The double, triple, and quad. Um, the single is the one that is considered the true rookie card. The uh, double, triple, and and uh, the quad are uh, just variations. But it's a gorgeous looking card. And this one is not numbered. But the double, triple, and quad are numbered cards. Numbered variations of this card. And they have slightly different backs. I think yellow, green, and red, if I'm not mistaken, for the quad. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, so you just look at that diamond down there. If you got one diamond, that is the base rookie, the true rookie card. Then the double, triple, and quad. Um, and they go way up in price because I think the quads only had a 250. And then uh, this is probably his best known rookie card right here, the Bowman Chrome. Uh, just a gorgeous looking card. Uh, so this is by far one of his just most iconic. This one in the tops Chrome. Uh, so I did have this. I actually have like three or four of these in a nine. So this is my first 10 of this card. Uh, Case is scratched up a little bit, but that is just the case. This is a, you can definitely see this is an older slab. Um, you know, here's a, here's one of the newer slabs. You know, it's got the nice PSA logo, the lighthouse. You know, it's got the barcode on the back, the QR code. So this is definitely an older slab. It's seen some wear. Look at the numbering, you know, 4 million versus 2 million. Um, but the card itself is just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, so I was really excited to finally get this in a 10. Uh, a couple more pickups, uh, rest or baseball. So 
Uh, this is just a nice low-end uh, PSA 10 Walker Bueller, nice rookie cup. I think this was an auction. I think I got this for like four dollars. I'm like, you can't even slab a card for four bucks. Uh, so jumped on that. Just thought it was a nice PSA 10 of one of the best young pitchers in baseball. And I love the heritage set and anything with the rookie cup is always desirable in, in my opinion. So yeah, I couldn't pass that up for less than five bucks. I uh, got a nice uh, Bryce Harper uh, rookie card here with the leg up, front leg up, PSA 10. Once again, just saw this in an auction going fairly low. And ironically, I did not have this card in a PSA 10. I have a lot of Bryce Harper rookies, but yeah, for some reason I missed out on them. Just the base tops rookie card. So they're a great one here, Carlos Correa. I'm a big fan of Correa, one of my favorite players, definitely my favorite player on the Astros. And I've always loved this card. I think it's just a gorgeous card. And it is a little bit short printed, not as easy to, to find this card. So it's the 2015 Topps Chrome, uh, Carlos Correa, PSA 10. Uh, love this one, Topps Heritage Minor League. So this is from 2016. This is a 19-year-old Ronald Acuna right here, PSA 10. Uh, yeah, so this is the 20, 2016. And he was born in... Let's see, 97. So yeah, he was only 19 years old right here. Uh, who would have thought three years later, he's one of the best players in all of baseball. But gorgeous card. Glad to have this in a PSA 10. And I did not have his, his Heritage Minor League. Uh, another beautiful pickup here. Uh, love the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. Uh, once again, I had two or three of these in a nine. Did not have the Bowman in a 10. Uh, so went ahead and Got this in an auction at a decent price that I was happy to pay. So really excited to get this one and add it to the to the Ken Griffey PC. Nice heritage pickup here. Uh, Buster Posey, one of the best catchers of uh, the last decade for sure. I think definitely a future Hall of Famer. And this is last year's 2018 Topps Heritage, Real One Autos. And this is the red, and his was added numbered out of 25. So this is awesome. I actually have two of these. I have another one. Uh, that I believe is numbered uh, 16, this one here, uh, but this one got the 9. Uh, this one is a 10, so I'll probably be selling this 9, uh, so you can check my eBay page if you're interested in that, uh, now that I've been able to upgrade this one to pick up this 10. So 10 auto, Jim Mint 10 card, gorgeous card, low numbered, one of the best catchers out there, so really excited to grab that one in a 10. Uh, another nice one here, Luis Reyes. This is his first Bowman rookie of 2017, uh, Bowman rookie auto. And so this is uh, the refractor. So this is numbered out of 499. Sorry, it's number uh, 98 out of 499. Kind of a little hard to see there, but that is number 98 out of 499. Gorgeous card, great shine, uh, great young player. Definitely got a huge future with the Twins. So, yeah, got this in a nice PSA Jim Mint 10. Uh, pulled a trigger, finally picked up a Luciano. I did not have uh, this card, and uh, so I bought this one, and I was really excited to get this one because it had great subs. You'll notice here, uh, Jim Mint Plus, uh, 395 plus a 10 on centering, 10 auto. So, gorgeous card, gorgeous looking auto, one of the best young prospects in baseball. Uh, so I was really excited to add this one to the collection, especially with such a such a high high subgrades there, Jim Mint, and uh, True Jim Plus. So really excited. And then probably my best pickup I've made in definitely well over a year. Finally got the White Whale, the card I've been trying to get for well over two years now. I've been searching for a decent graded card at an auction price that I was comfortable paying. And uh, this beauty, a 4.5, came along uh, just a couple weeks ago, and I was able to win the auction at a price that I was comfortable with. And uh, so I was so excited to finally add this card to the collection. This is just a, my white whale, the card I've been trying to get for quite a while now. Wanted it at at least a 4, you know, I was hoping. And so when a 4.5 came along, I was super excited. And it's just a gorgeous card. You know, this one... You can definitely tell it is a 4.5 for sure. You know, the corners are definitely a little rounding, but the centering on this one is is a little off left to right, but not as bad as some I've seen. Some you you see you don't even see any white on either side. And uh, some of them, there's a lot of print errors and, and smudges and smears uh, with the ink in uh, Long Hank Aaron's face. This one 
is super clean, great, uh, great vibrant color still for a card, you know, from 1954. And uh, yeah, just gorgeous looking card. Really excited to, to finally get this one. So this is by far one of my best pickups I've made in at least a year, if not more. Um, so yeah, really excited to add that. And then uh, just a couple more cards. Uh, nice first Bowman auto here, Luisa Reyes. Uh, this is the refractor. So this is numbered out of 499. So number 413 out of 499. This is the uh, 2017, I believe. Yep, 2017. Uh, so great looking card, gorgeous shine. Good looking auto too. It's a real, yeah, good looking auto. And I picked these two up, Yelich, uh, one of my favorite players. And this is, uh, you know, absolutely love this rookie card of his. Uh, I've got quite a few of the, just the base. Uh, but now we've got a, picked up a gold here. Gorgeous looking card. This is numbered out of 2013. So 1889 out of 2013. And also picked up this blue. Uh, this is, I believe, the Walmart retail special. Um, so you can only get the blue out of the Walmart uh, retail packs. But uh, just great looking cards. So definitely going to send both of these off to uh, PSA and see how they do. And then I just got this back. If you watched one of my earlier videos, um, you'll see uh, on a PSA return uh, reveal that I did, I got this great looking card here. 2013 Topps Heritage Bryce Harper action variation with the Venezuela back, the black, and it got a two. So I sent it off to PSA and they sent it back and said, nope, we're right, it's a two. And then they put this <laughs> little sticker on her and said there's a crease. Now I have, I don't know if you see any sort of crease or wrinkle there. I mean, I don't even, I've looked. I think at this point I'm just going to crack. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm seeing something very faint right there. Looks more like a surface scratch or something than a, than a crease. But I think what I'm going to do, I am going to crack this out. Probably going to send it off to uh, to Beckett, BGS, see what they think. This is just a good looking card. I mean, even if that is a, a slight surface scratch or a, a wrinkle, I mean a two? I don't know. But I sent it to PSA. I thought, you know, have them look at it again. And uh, they said, nope, it's a two. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've got some really old cards that are graded a two, you know, from like the 50s and the 60s, and uh, they don't like anything like this. This this is not a two to me. Uh, but what do you do? So like I said, I'm probably going to crack this out, send it off to Beckett, see what they think, um, because this is just a great looking card. And I love these Venezuela backs uh, with the black backing, so don't want to leave it in a uh, with a two. Also got this one here too. Uh, this is a great looking card. So this is a Peyton Manning rookie. So this is a 1998 Ultra, and this is the gold medallion. Uh, so it's got the uh, the black and white background as opposed to the colored background like the uh, standard Ultra. And uh, it does say here on the back, gold medallion edition. Uh, I bought this one um, for the sole purpose to try and cross it over. It's got some really good looking subs, 10 on centering. Really great surface, 9.5, you know, corners and edges in 9. So I was going to try and cross this over to PSA, so I'm probably going to snap this out and, and send it over to PSA because I'm really um, working on the uh, Peyton Manning rookie uh, registry, and so I'd like to get this one in a PSA holder. Uh, even though I'm a big fan of Beckett 2, I just think this one's got a, a great chance at possibly crossing to a 10 because it is a really good-looking card. So... Going to snap that out and see how it goes. But yeah, nice uh, Peyton Manning rookie right there. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, some of the bigger pickups I've made. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite card is. Let me know what your white whale is, the one you've been trying to pick up for a while. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.